Hello and welcome back to FOSS Edits. Today we're going to look at editing portraits in raw therapy and I'm using raw therapy stable version 5.9 which is the latest stable version at the time of this recording. This is a senior portrait of a student from a couple of years ago and I thought it would make an excellent subject for what we're trying to do today. In some ways this is a reaction video to Andy Asbury's excellent video from a couple years ago explaining vector scopes, which is kind of what this is here. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But I also want to point out I'm using a custom camera profile. Now I shoot on a Fuji X-T4, which might actually be a factor in our results today. We'll take a look. But we're going to use a custom camera profile from a company who shall not be named. If you want to know how to do this little trick, you can go to pixels.us and look for it there. So this is already edited. We have a custom white balance and I picked it up from this strip of concrete back here. I'm already using the tone curve and base table and lookup table. Other than that, very, very little editing here. But to my eyes, this looks good. If you haven't checked out Andy's excellent video series on raw therapy, you really need to. He does a master class all the time. Andy tells us not to trust our eyes because after a while they get fooled. Instead, he says, for skin tones, check the RGB numbers that are shown in raw therapy. So I'm going to turn on the lockable color picker. I could use her skin right here as a source, but she probably has some makeup on. I'm going to get this from her her forearm instead. This should still be pretty accurate here. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to do a control uh, click wheel just to make that as big as we can. Now, right off the bat, the ratios here are 85, 76, and 78. Andy says those ratios need to be 70, 60, 50, or as close to those as you can. So let's go over to the RGB curves right here. Can I get rid of that? We're going to take a look at RGB curves. And we're going to be adjusting each individual channel until we this gets to be 70, 60, 50. We'll take a look at what it looks like. Before I do that, I'm going to actually make a snapshot here. This is RGB off. It's kind of our base image here. So I'm going to turn RGB curves on and I'm going to use the standard curve on each of the channel, each of the three channels until we, re until we reach that 70, 60, 50 ratio. I'll speed this up, but we'll see what we get. Here goes. Okay, this is the 70, 60, 50 ratio. And to my eyes, it is not as good as what we had before. Also, let's take a look at a different scope up here. Let's take a look at the RGB parade. And it kind of stair steps down here the way it's supposed to. But still, I'm not seeing as good of an image as we had before. I've looked at this on different monitors just to make sure that's not the problem here. And I'm getting the same result. So I'm going to save this as a snapshot. We're going to go snapshot number two is going to be RGB on. We're going to call it 70, 60, 50. And I'm going to call this custom profile there. That's pretty descriptive of what we have. So there we go. We're going to come back to this a little bit later because we're going to try a different profile just to see if that makes a difference. So let's go up to color management. And instead of the custom Fuji profile, let's look at the auto matched camera pro profile that is embedded in raw therapy. Okay, it's a little darker. And our ratios here now go to 54, 43, 37. 
Let's go back to the RGB curves and adjust those to 70, 60, 50. I'll speed this up. Okay, that's still not good to my eyes. 70, 60, 50 ratio. What if we tried a different white balance source? Before we do that, I'm going to save this as RGB on 70, 60, 50. And then this is the, M, it's not an embedded profile, it's the raw therapy profile. Now, how did that compare? Neither one of those are good as far as overall colors go. With using the raw therapy profile, what if we used a camera white balance? We get even worse. Are we able to use, get automatic white balance and do any better? I can massage these, but then we're going to get away from the 70, 60, 50 ratio from down here. Let's take a look at the hue saturation ve vector scope over here. And I'm going to actually get rid of this down here. Instead, we're going to turn a crop on. We're going to crop only her skin tones down here. Lock ratio. Okay, if we're doing this right, her skin tone should fall along this dotted line up here, which obviously they are not. Let's go back to the RGB off, and we'll try the crop again. Those should fall along the line here, and obviously they do not. What about when we use the 70, 60, 50 with a custom profile? We still didn't like the results. We're a little closer to what we wanted. This is, according to the scope, this is the best we've had so far. We probably need to come down toward the red a little more. Let's take a look at the red channel. Let's bring it down a little bit. Let's bring it up a little bit. That is pretty much on the line. And when you, I'm going to zoom in here, when you, Scroll around in here, that all those tones stay right on along that, that dotted line. These should be ideal skin tones. Let's turn our crop off and go back to view. Again, I don't like that look as good as I like this. So I'm not getting the same results that Andy is. There could be a lot of reasons for this. The first I'm wondering is Fuji RAW files are just different from Canon, Nikon, Sony, etc. They're really designed to be used with Fuji equipment and using Fuji software. When I'm delivering portraits, I've never used RAW therapy to edit those. Now, I don't feature Fuji's X-RAW Studio on here because it's not free and open source, but for portraits, that's my best bet. Plus, when, I, when I'm delivering 25, 30 portraits at a time, this is a very slow process in RAW therapy. Even if I speed things up by using custom profiles, there's still some cropping and other tweaks that need to be done. So this is a fun exercise, but in real world, it's not for me. I don't know, I'd like to know what you think. So I admit, I don't have as much experience editing portraits in raw therapy. This photo right here works great for my purposes. It looks accurate, even on other monitors, but it doesn't follow the vector scope very well. So that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.